Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 2nd, 2016. First thing this morning, we have the threat of an asteroid. Now a report on Obama, Putin, and aliens. I've received several hundred emails over the past two weeks pertaining to an alien threat and the impending threat of World War III. And once again, what does Russia and the United States have to go to war about? That's the big question. Now, back in late June of 2016, this past summer, there was a story floating around that Vladimir Putin warned President Barack Obama that he should warn the American people about the impending cataclysmic events of Planet X and Nibiru on the Earth. Now, this article is stating Obama has now warned Putin that there is an alien threat heading into the year 2017 and that he is asking Putin for his help in defense of this alien attack. Now, if you just come and think about it, with the passage of Nibiru and the cataclysmic destruction upon planet Earth, that would make all of us and the Earth quite vulnerable. Now, how much heedance there is in this type of reporting, I don't know. I believe in aliens. I've seen them on all of NASA's footage on the SOHO and LASCO, and we've done videos on them before. But getting into this article, there's a short video, and let's listen to it. The meeting held between President Putin and U.S. Vice President this past week shockingly reveals an American plea for Russian help in establishing an Earth-wide missile defense plan to protect our planet from an alien invasion expected in late 2017 after NASA satellites revealed an incoming fleet of miles-wide UFOs that have entered our solar system. This report goes on to detail Putin's speculation to U.S. Vice President that our Earth may be nearing a scenario like that which occurred on April 4, 1561, when in the skies over Nuremberg, Germany, hundreds of UFOs engaged in a battle witnessed by thousands, and of which we can read as reported from those times. Now, getting into this 1561 celestial event in Nuremberg, Germany. I thought that was very interesting. I've never heard anything about this, so I started to investigate it a little further. And I found that there is one heck of a story here dated in April of 1561, and it was recorded in newspaper events of this alien invasion and alien war in the skies over Nuremberg, Germany. Now, this little article, which I'll attach a link to it, goes into the direct description of what these people saw in the early morning hours of April 4th, 1561, in the skies over Nuremberg, Germany. Now, it has a heading of, the phenomenon is described, and this is the exact writings that were listed in the 1561 newspaper article and once again you can read all of this information you can go over it I will include a link to this but as I continue to go on in this little investigation I come to find more and more information on this specific subject of this so-called alien invasion going into the year 2017 would the Earth be vulnerable after the passage of Nibiru? Well, absolutely. There would be catastrophic death and destruction. Militaries would be basically on their knees. Our infrastructure will be destroyed. And yes, an alien invasion would be quite easy. We would be completely defenseless. But let's take a little listen here about the Nuremberg incident. The 1561 celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg was a mass sighting of celestial phenomena or unidentified flying objects, UFO, above Nuremberg, 
Germany. The phenomenon has been interpreted by some modern UFO enthusiasts as an aerial battle, possibly of extraterrestrial origin. This view is mostly dismissed by skeptics, some referencing Carl Jung's mid-20th century writings about the subject. Around dawn on April 14, 1561, residents of Nuremberg saw what they described as an aerial battle, followed by the appearance of a large black triangular object and then a large crash outside of the city. According to witnesses, there were hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other odd-shaped objects that moved erratically overhead. A broadsheet news article was printed on April 14, 1561 describing the event. The broadsheet, illustrated with a woodcut engraving and text by Hans Glaser, measures 26.2 cm, 10.3 in, by 38.0 cm, 15.0 in. The document is archived in the Prints and Drawings Collection at the Central Bibliothek Zurich in Zurich, Switzerland. The broadsheet describes objects of various shapes including crosses, globes, two lunar crescents, a black spear and tubular objects from which several smaller, round objects emerged and darted around the sky at dawn. The text of the broadsheet can be translated as giving the following description of the event. In the morning of April 14, 1561, at daybreak, between 4 and 5 a.m., a dreadful apparition occurred on the sun, and then this was seen in Nuremberg in the city, before the gates and in the country by many men and women. At first there appeared in the middle of the sun two blood-red semicircular arcs, just like the moon in its last quarter. And in the sun, above and below and on both sides, the color was blood, there stood a round ball of partly dull, partly black ferrous color. Likewise there stood on both sides and as a torus about the sun such blood-red ones and other balls in large number, about three in a line and four in a square, also some alone. In between these globes there were visible a few blood-red crosses, between which there were blood-red strips, becoming thicker to the rear and in the front malleable like the rods of reed grass, which were intermingled, among them two big rods, one on the right, the other to the left, and within the small and big rods there were three, also four, and more globes. These all started to fight among themselves, so that the globes, which were first in the sun, flew out to the ones standing on both sides, thereafter, the globes standing outside the sun, in the small and large rods, flew into the sun. Besides the globes flew back and forth among themselves and fought vehemently with each other for over an hour. And when the conflict in and again out of the sun was most intense, they became fatigued to such an extent that they all, as said above, fell from the sun down upon the earth as if they all burned and they then wasted away on the earth with immense smoke. After all this there was something like a black spear, very long and thick, sighted, the shaft pointed to the east, the point pointed west. Whatever such signs mean, God alone knows. Although we have seen, shortly one after another, many kinds of signs on the heaven, which are sent to us by the Almighty God, to bring us to repentance, we still are, unfortunately, so ungrateful that we despise such high signs and miracles of God. Or we speak of them with ridicule and discard them to the wind, in order that God may send us a frightening punishment on account of our ungratefulness. After all, the God-fearing will by no means discard these signs, but will take it to heart as a warning of their merciful Father in heaven, will mend their lives and faithfully beg God, that he may avert his wrath including the well-deserved punishment, on us, so that we may temporarily here and perpetually there, live as his children. For it, may God grant us his help. Amen. Well, this is a very well-documented story going back into April 1561 over Nuremberg, Germany. This is definitely worth reading. Like I said, I will include all of the links to the documentation for this video. And something else that I'd like to point out, in our research for Planet X and Nibiru, we consistently and constantly monitor the Lasco and Soho craft that view the sun. We have seen multiple, multiple UFOs. I'm going to include this article with video that will show you 
what exactly we are talking about. And we've done videos on this before. So the possibilities of this occurring, well, they're there. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.